inclusive playground is coming to Tigard. It is the largest playground for kids of all abilities ever to come to Oregon. Fox Show's Mia Villanueva joins us now live with a closer look at this project. It's so exciting for these kids in the area, Mia. Yeah, Shauna, it sure is. The project is being built at Cook Park in Tigard. The company behind the project has designed several other inclusive parks in Oregon, but they say this one is even bigger and better. And this was our first opportunity to really come into the city with an amazing playground. The first inclusive park for the city of Tigard is currently under construction at Cook Park. The $1.2 million project was designed by Ross Recreation, but took inspiration from community feedback. We met with parents of kids in particular that cannot transfer. Not transfer, meaning cannot get up from their wheelchair. Len Franson with Ross Recreation says a big goal for this park was to make sure that those kids would still be in the mix with other kids at play. This would be your wheelchair bay here, so your, your wheels will sit in this spot. These arms come up like this. So you can see there's a lot of space in here for wheelchairs. So you have the access ramp, playmates, parents. Another example, the We Go Round, which is kind of like the teacups at Disneyland, also fits two wheelchairs. Even the materials for the playground were selected with inclusivity in mind. Take the turf. Not only can kids in wheelchairs easily maneuver around on it, but it also provides sensory stimulation for kids with autism and an added layer of protection for kids with cochlear implants. So you can't go down a plastic slide if you have a cochlear implant because it builds wow. up static. So this turf actually dissipates static when your feet hit the turf coming off the slide. Some of the features are a first for the industry. It's the only accessible tower in the industry with this type of belted system. But hopefully it won't be the last time you see them. The city of Tigard says this playground has set the standard for inclusivity for all of its future parks. There's a desire in the community for all future playgrounds to be inclusive. Uh, we like to say inclusive is a wow for everybody. The grand opening for the park will be on Friday, May 17th, just in time for kids to be able to use it during the summertime. And you're going to get to be there, right? You're yes. going to go and visit? Yes. And... So the grand opening, uh, ribbon cutting May 17th, and oh. hopefully speaking with a family uh, whose daughter is going to get to use the I park. I love it. This is the greatest I could thing. not agree I mean, more. Yes. Kids of all abilities yeah. will have yes. fun and enjoy. I, I, they thought of everything. Yes, it's and incredible. I just love it because sometimes you'll see even at elementary schools that kids with different abilities go play at a different time. Yeah. And I think it's really important for kids of all abilities yeah. to be able to play together and they really have this in mind when they made this oh playground. Oh my gosh. And they sound That's like they amazing. really have a passion for this. Oh yes. I mean, they thought of everything. The cochlear implant, um, I did not know about that. Right. That it's I didn't the either. static impacts them when they go down those slides. So, I mean, the turf is just brilliant because it dissipates oh, that. So, wow. they really thought of everything. I'm really excited for kids to be able to use it. Give these guys an fun. award. I know. It was incredible. Yeah. Fantastic, wow, Mia. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.